Hey y'all, welcome, welcome back to my channel, Chantel here, your fashion bestie and the curator of this channel. If you like what you see and you're a newbie, please do well to subscribe now by clicking on the bell icon that spells subscribe and the bell icon next to it. <laughs> the icon that spells subscribe and the bell icon next to it. So whenever I post, you'll be one of the first to get that notification. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. As you can tell from the title, this is a Shein haul. You all, I haven't shopped from Shein in a while. When I say a while, I mean in over a year. Reason being that I'm just in that phase of my life where clothes are very secondary. I don't really spend much on clothes anymore. I'm tilting more towards high end than fast fashion because it's quality over quantity right now in my life. And um, I feel like over time, you save more when you buy more quality items than buying a lot of these fast fashion items. The fact that retail policy in this part of the world is the ghetto. Once you buy something, if you don't like it, either you give it out or just trash it because, yeah, if you say you want to return it, you're going to hear and win. Especially with sites like Shein. Zara is... It's okay. I've done some returns on Zara before, although I had to pay a lot of money for that. And it did not make sense at the end of the day. But yeah, that aside, what prompted this haul was the heat. Hmm. The heat now in the part of the world where I reside in, Nigeria, for those who don't know, is something else. And I really needed easy breezy clothes that I could just throw on, casual things that I could just throw on and leave the house. Hence my going on Shein again, because I know that they have really nice, simple clothes, affordable. Yeah, I'm just going to be showing you all those items, a few ones I picked up alongside some home organization items, accessories, and stuff. Watch till the end of this video as I'll be sharing a discount code you can use to save some coins off your purchase. I noticed that based in Nigeria, a lot of discount codes don't work for us, but I have gotten a hack that works and I will share it at the end of this video, all right? Yeah, let's delve right into the reason you're here. The first item in this haul is this ribbed asymmetric neckline top with drawstring detail on the side, on one side actually, the right side to be precise. This is what it looks like. It's long sleeved, it's very stretchy, it's just a very cute top. They have different color options on the website, but me being me, I tend to um, tilt towards nudes and browns i got it in a 2xl because of the ribbed fabric it is stretchy but not the type of stretch that gives room so once you wear it it just constricts to your body if you're looking to get this i would advise you get it in your size or your size up do not size down for this because like i mentioned the fabric doesn't have a lot of room even though it's stretchy i don't know how else to explain that but yeah, this is what it looks like on me. I love the fit on me. This is a very versatile piece as well. You can wear it with jeans. You can wear it with skirts. You can wear it with pants. It's really nice. And I love the neckline. It just gives that drama, the extra oomph. I love the drawstring detail that can be used or just let loose like that. I love, love, love this stuff. Everything I'll be showing in this haul is linked in my description box as I speak. So do also check it out if there's anyone that catches your eye. The second item is this metallic green please um, shirt dress, mini dress actually. I got this in a 1X, reason being that please fabric has these oversized um, fit. So whenever I'm buying a please outfit, I always try to size down. So I went one size below my usual size and I love the fit on it. Even though I wanted it to be a bit free, this is not bad. You can see from it on my body here it just needs a little bit of room around the stomach area this is a very cute dress i see myself wearing this for maybe drinks with the girls brunch it can be transformed from a day um, um look to a night look you can pair this with layering it's really nice and it's very cool to touch it has no stretch on it it's just a pleats fabric but because it is pleated there's room on it. I, that's what Please Fabric does in general. It looks way more expensive than the amount I paid for it. I think I got this for less than $8 and it is really, really nice. What do you all think? Let me know in the comments. So if you're looking to get this size down or stick to your perfect size, do not size up unless you want 
a really oversized fit, but if you just want it to sit right on your body, either you stick to your perfect size or you size or you size down. Next item is this A-line cut dress that I thought was going to be my favorite, but I don't like the fabric. The fabric is giving heat. It's giving, I don't know, there's just something about it that is off in my opinion. The style is fine, but it's not well made as well. When I saw the bow, I was I was thrown off because I mean, why, why, why? Why is it not uniform? Why does one side have to be longer than the other? The style is fine. The color combination is fine. The fabric, I have a problem with it now because the weather is so hot. But once it cools down, I'm sure I'll be fine. I love the buttons as well. The buttons on it, they have these pearl stone buttons that look nice. Another downside for me with this dress is the fact that these pockets are non-existent. I wish it was open and you could just put your hands inside. Well, yeah, this is what it looks like on me. It's stretchy. I got this in a 2XL. My size, I think I should have sized up because I wanted that free fit, but it's not bad looking on me now. If you're looking to get this, I would advise you get it in your size or you size up. Just go up one size, depending on your body type. I'm looking forward to pairing this with a loafer. It will look really nice and it will just elevate it even more. I also got this very cute brown milkmaid dress. Like I mentioned at the beginning of this video, I needed something for air. So when I saw this dress, I just knew I had to have it. It has this very cute neckline. It's milkmaid. It has the um, rubber detail behind, so it's very stretchy. I got this in a 2XL, but I think I would have gotten away with a 1X because of the stretch behind. But I'm not mad at it. I love it. I love the color. They have a lot of colors on the website. Red, white, navy, black. Before I settled for the brown, I contemplated between getting it or the black. But I later went for the brown because I have accessories that will match it. It looks really nice. I love the length on me. Just a simple, everyday, easy, breezy dress, running errands. Nothing too serious, but still fashion forward in my opinion. I also like this corsetti thingy around the waist. It looks nice. It looks really nice. A very fashion, fashion forward outfit that will suit a lot of body types, if not all body types. It's opaque, so you can't necessarily see what I have underneath, which is a plus. If you're looking to get it, stick to your size or you size down. Don't size up with this at all. Next item in this haul is this patch patterned button down polyester dress with flutter sleeves simple as well a day dress errand running easy breezy casual simple dress paired with white sandal white slides will be so cute i love the neckline i love the fit on me i really wanted things like this and i'm glad i could get them on sheen the print on it is giving valentine but yeah we're over that now <laughs> when i saw it in real life i'm like oh so this is a hat print if I had seen that it was hat print before purchasing it, I wouldn't have gotten it because I just feel, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about it. I thought it was polka dot, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not bad. It's button down, you can choose to unbutton some of it and just show legs. The neckline is not low. It is such an amazing dress. You can wear it to church, you can wear it on casual days. Church, I mean evening service if you're looking to dress down. You can wear it on dress down casual days. The fit on me is nice. I got this in, let me confirm. I got this in a 2XL. Fabric is not stretchy at all. So get this in your perfect size or you size up. Because the waist is a bit tight and the boobs area. The last clothing item in this haul is also a milkmaid dress, but in print. It has this floral print on navy blue background. Tie neck detail. It has a slit in front, as you can see. Flared out, airy, simple, straight to the point. Love it. The fabric is not, it's see-through. It's see-through, actually. I'm going to say it was it was in between, but it's actually see-through, so you have to wear something underneath. Or else, <laughs> your underwear is going to be in full display. The back of the dress has this rubber stretchy thing, which I'm not necessarily a fan of, because over time, these things tend to weaken and 
the dress now becomes big on you. I hope that is not the case with this. It also has the rubber detail on the sleeves. Um, this is a nice dress. I love the print. I love the color against my skin tone. It looks really nice. Um, it's it's made of 100% polyester, so it is not stretchy. Get this in your size or you size down, I would say. Just stick to your perfect size with this one. Love it. Accessories, I got this hair bow in nude pink. It looks really nice. I'll leave a picture of what it looks like on the model. It's all rumpled up now, but when I style it, you will see what it looks like. I love, love, love it. It's just very girly and cute. <laughs> I also picked up Press On Nails. Yo, I'm in my Press On Nails era, and I saw this very cute, colorful design on Shein. I decided to jump on it. It's made up of um, 24 nail sets in this colorful almond-shaped design. Really nice looking. Moving over to the home accessories or home improvements, organization items. I got a microfiber cloth for my car. It is a two-sided microfiber cloth with yellow on one side and gray on the other side. And it also has this um, thing that you can use to hang it somewhere when you're done with it. This is definitely going to go to good use. The last one I had for my car is green, so I decided to replace it with this one. I also got two pieces of cheesecloth, aka strainer, in case I want to use it for to strain things. I looked for this thing in Nigeria, although I did not go to the market, but I was just using my eyes to look for it on social media. I couldn't find it, so I saw it on Shein and I just hopped on it. It also has a drawstring detail, so once you put your item, you strain it, and yeah, this is made of polyester. I don't know how I'd not think of making it myself, or and then I got it off Shein. <laughs> uh, the next item I got is this magic cleansing gel thingy that looks like a Play-Doh. Trying to open it. Yeah. It's a gel and, yeah. I'll just leave a picture of what it looks like on the screen so that it's not messy. But basically, it takes off, it lifts up dirt and dust from surfaces. And once you just use it, it will magnet it and you remove it. This is what it looks like in the pack. I got a pack of this one. Next are these straws I got for my Stanley cup. I did not necessarily need the straws, but I needed the brush to wash my Stanley cup and it came in a set. I just decided to get one pack for myself with the brush being the main item. It's a set of six straws and one brush. The last items in this haul are these things that you can use to cover gaps underneath the door. I'll leave a picture of it so you can understand better. I got two of these because there are some doors in my house that need it. And it just gets rid of this crawling insect that cockroaches from getting into your house or your room or wherever you put it. I think it's a brilliant idea. I'm just going to put it to work and see how it goes. But yeah, I got two of them because like I mentioned, I have two doors in mind. Yeah, that's it with the haul. Those are the items I got off Shein. Um, let me know your favorite in terms of the clothing items in the comment section. Moving over to the discount code. If you're in Nigeria, you notice that when influencers are brought share codes, I would try to use it. It never works. I don't know why. Way back, it used to work. I would use codes from American influencers, UK influencers, but all of a sudden, it just stopped. And I can't even explain why. Shane is here to tell us. So if you're based in Nigeria, I found this code that gives 15% off. It is TSX15. I'll leave it boldly written on the screen. So whatever you buy, you can use it to save some coins for yourself. Although sometimes Shein has coupon codes that they display in your account. Probably they'll say buy $259 worth of stuff and get 15% off or buy 100 and something and get 10% off. So I'd advise that you just compare both and go with the better option. That is what I do. So if I'm looking to buy stuff, and I put everything in my cart. I try to check out. I put the discount code, the TSX15. If it gives me more um, savings than the one, the coupon code that Shein gave me in my account, I will go with that one. If the reverse is the case, I would go with the one from Shein. So I hope this helped someone. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, everything I mentioned is linked in my description box. Just click on it and it takes you right to the landing page that is Shein. Thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, 
I don't know why you're doing that to me. Please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching. Leave a comment in the comment section as well. Until I see you again, don't forget to stay amazing. Bye. Bye.